fantastic feeling to help improve your impact position is the concept of hitting against a firm front side. So the concept there revolves around the fact that at the setup position, we've all got a front side. As a right-handed golfer, it's going to be your left side, and a left-handed golfer is going to be your right side, but that's your front side facing the target. And at the point of impact, we want to hit against a firm front side. So this is right from the foot through the knee, the hip, and the side of the body should be consistently firm, even including a straight arm. What we don't want to do for any consistency issues is hit against a soft front side. So this is a weak knee position, a hip position that's potentially moving backwards and a collapsing lead arm and lead wrist. This is going to cause us lots of issues with scooping the golf ball, hitting it with no power and massive consistency issues where the height of the swing constantly changes and therefore we dig the ground or we top the golf ball. So we want the firm lead side. Now a big key element of that is going to be to snap the lead leg straighter at the point of impact. Now the words snapping and straight are fairly strong words and if you've got knee injuries you might be conscious of snapping anything in that lead knee. So be very careful that this is for uh, good athletic strong golfers without any injuries. If you're really struggling with your mobility with knee injuries and things like that move on from this tip leave this this isn't for you this isn't the level of golf that you need to be playing at but if you're a good strong player you can walk two rounds of golf in a day and you've got no issues with, uh, with any knee injuries, then focus on watching what the best players in the world do, and you'll see most of the really good players will be into a very firm lead side at the point of impact. Now that means that the knees start off with a bit of flex, but during the point of impact, at or just before impact, that lead knee is gonna straighten out, it's gonna pull backwards, the trail knee drives in a little bit, and the hip rises. So from this angle, we've got setup, we've got impact. So this knee doesn't slide forwards, but it turns back. So the hip moves this way. So the hip will drive across a little bit and then it will pull back out and it, the, the heel will take a lot of the body weight and the knee will move backwards. So from this way around up to the top, I'm pulling back here. A great exercise to make sure you're getting the right feeling there is to take your golf club, spin it upside down and hold it against your little toe of your lead leg and try and hold it vertically. Almost imagine it's driven into the ground and then we're going to turn to the top. Your knee will move slightly away from the club and then you're going to turn into impact and your knee will move towards, but really importantly, not past. If you feel like your knee is going to hit into that club, then you're too lateral, you're too slidey into the ball. That can cause some issues with lack of rotation. So we want to be at the top, turn and snap. And at this point, my knee doesn't go past the vertical club. Then when I'm playing golf, I can imagine that I've got that pole, like a scaffolding pole driven into the floor just by my front leg. And through the point of impact, I want to be strong into that lead leg and as I straighten out my lead leg here, I feel I didn't collapse it and drive forwards. So it was strong and straight, not slid and collapsed. Work on snapping your lead side for a strong front-sided finish and hopefully more consistent golf.